Okay, you guys, so uh, Herb Palmer Jr., Lobster Lab Media, pay attention films up here at uh, Lake Apacon. It's uh, the largest lake in New Jersey, I believe, and one of my favorite places. So hopefully it's not too windy. We'll be able to do some good uh, filming today. So we'll get a little closer to the lake. We're going to do the uh, forgiveness permission thing, which is it's easier to ask for forgiveness than permission. Because uh, as you can see, this restaurant is closed for the uh, Heineken virus. And it says danger, stairs closed, slippery or icy conditions. Now, I don't know about you, but it's June now. So I don't believe there's any slippery or icy conditions. Because it's not even snowing or raining. So I think, I think that's fake news. And I'm going to avoid the sign. Step right over the guard. Hopefully, uh, there's no gate police. Because uh, I want to get a little closer to the lake. So it's a little windy. Hopefully, uh, you know, the wind's not too bad. So I'll talk a little louder. But I want to talk about two things that's going to help you in the upcoming depression, recession, depression that we got coming up. Because it's coming. This stock market is going to completely collapse, and so is the real estate market. So uh, you want to be prepared. You know, a depression happens about every 100 years, and we certainly do. So there's two things you need to know. One is leverage, and the other is residual income. If you don't know what leverage is, you're probably your boss's leverage. Leverage is your boss buys your time at, uh, you know, whatever, $15 an hour, $20 an hour, and then he sells your time at retail for $40, $60, $80 an hour by what you produce or what you do for the company or him, you know, and... Uh, it's, it's interesting and most people don't understand it. They're like, well, you know, they pay me what they pay me. No, they, you sell your time at wholesale and your boss or company sells your time at retail because you produce two or three or four times as much that they pay you to the company. And then the other thing I want to talk about, other than the beautiful lake and the, the boats in the background and the freedom, is, uh, is lev or I, I'm sorry, leverage we talked about leverage the other is uh, residual income so what's residual income there's linear income and there's residual income and if you have a job you're working for linear income uh, one hour of work one hour of money eight hours of work eight hours of money ten hours of work ten hours of money that's linear income trading your time for money and there's only so much time in a day a week a month a year and your life so uh, you want to get to residual income and residual income is working once and getting paid over and over and over again. So kind of like buying rental property and every time the renters pay the rent, that's residual income. You know, once you pay your mortgage and your expenses. Or buying stocks and getting stock dividends, that's residual income. You know, every quarter you're getting uh, you're getting some money in the mail. Or the other is, uh, is having a business and uh, having employees and, and getting that money coming in uh, every week or every month. Um, again, most people don't understand it but these are two things you're going to need in the upcoming depression you're going to need leverage and you're going to need residual income so we got a little bit of wind out here today i don't know i don't know how windy it is i don't know how the sun the, the sound is going to be but one of my favorite places um lake of pack new jersey being out in the water in a boat it's just uh, awesome and amazing so again her palmer lobster lab media please subscribe to the channel if you like it hit the like button Hit the bell button so you'll get all the uh, the upcoming videos. And by the way, these are, I'm sporting my uh, my dollar glasses from the dollar store. These 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 glasses they look at least like they're two dollar glasses, right? But I got them for a dollar. So seriously, they're they're nice glasses, right? For a buck, you're gonna break them or lose them. You can't go wrong. So you want to have three, four, five, six pairs of uh, a dollar glasses from the dollar store. All right, that's my words of wisdom for today, and. Uh, We'll see you soon. Follow us. Thanks. Bye.